Hi, it's Tanya from Draw for the Giants here. Today I'm going to be sharing a little bit about how the Lord asked me to work for myself. So at the moment you'll see that I'm sitting in a bus and um, this is my workspace right now and this is my bedroom right now. I'm creating this um, YouTube theme about how I do business with God. Everyday, practical, tangible um, advice that he gives me. You know a lot about business and you know before I do what is the best path that I should take. And I'm thinking, well, Lord, you are my marketer. You are my advertiser. You are my sales representative. I realize that the Lord really would like for me to share these experiences. Um, if you're someone who follows the Lord in any way, shape or form in your personal life, you know that sometimes when he asks anything of you, it's not necessarily out of the blue. There was a time when I had a friend who worked for himself. You know, he just had this whole entrepreneurial life that I really admired. And I remember thinking, you know, this is fun. This looks, this is, looks really interesting. You know, I wonder whether I would be any good at business. It wasn't a dream. There was no connection to I want to do this for myself at the time um, I was a single parent I had other you know creative things going on and I think also I started studying so the idea of working for myself um, was very very far away from me actually it wasn't even an option now I was studying art because my intention to do that was that I had the desire to go and do overseas mission trips. In my denomination, there is a kind of a requirement that you had to have some college education, and I was a high school dropout as such. And I thought, well, if I had to go get an education, I might as well do something that I'm really good at and so I can enhance it. That was my reasoning. I loved every moment that I was at school. I loved the kids that I was studying with. I loved my tutors. I loved each subject and I did really well. I surprised myself. The Lord totally blessed my education. We had a gentleman come in who owned a swanky um, advertising company and he came to encourage all the students saying, you know, we are looking to hire someone and we don't mind that you're, if you're in your thirties, um, we would consider you. And I'm thinking, Wow, this had been, that had been a dream of mine um, since I was 15 years old that I would work in an advertising agency. I had worked in one before computers were around when I was uh, 17 and 18 years old and so my desire was to get back into one. And after three years of studying and totally being immersed in, this, in the world of graphic design and illustration, I'm just thinking I'm gunning for this. I carried on with my classes. I, I, I invested myself in my education. I'm sitting at my desk and it's almost like the Lord comes in quietly and he leans over and whispers in my ear, I want you to work for yourself. And that was it. And I, I caught it and I looked around and I'm thinking, I heard that Lord, you want me to work for myself. I said, are you sure? Um, and I had all those reservations because I saw myself as someone who didn't know anything about business. Um, could I be someone who can work for themselves? As I contemplated that and wondered whether that was in fact true, he confirmed it. My tutors pulled me aside not long after this to sit me down to tell me that they felt that the best course of action for me was to go out on my own and work for myself. You could have just blown me down with a feather. And I'm like, seriously? And they said to me, Tanya, we love having you in our class. You've more than, more than exceeded um, with what you've done. We can see your passion. You've gonna gotten better. You have different styles. Uh, you're consistent, you're fast. They totally affirmed me. Um, as uh, here I am coming up 40 years old, um, wondering about the next stage of my working career. They are advising me, saying that I have what it took to work for myself. It kind of 
was a clincher for me and I turned to the Lord and said you're obviously confirming this for me I couldn't tell you exactly how long this process took I would say that it'll be a good month because you know I'm studying I'm parenting I have a boyfriend I have all these aspects of life that I have to juggle and now tutors confirming this for me and I'm thinking what do I need to do to make this happen for me I needed to have some order I knew that I'd be doing graphic design. I had some cl paying clients already from the college that I worked at. Um, and I went and registered as a New Zealand business. Um, made it really official. Um, and I spent a good three weeks coming up with the name. And by Christmas 2010, I was in business. And I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. but. Because God said, I want you to work for yourself, I was working for myself. <laughs> Honestly, how do people do stuff these days? I had no idea. I seriously had no idea. I, all I knew how to do was to do some artwork and have a client pay me to do it. I didn't know how to look for clients. I didn't know um, how to talk about what I did. Um, it felt really strange to me to, you know, speak up about, you know, hey, I'm a designer and I can do this and I'm amazing. I just didn't feel very comfortable for me. I didn't even know how to turn to God in, in the capacity of uh, how to run a business. So that's the story of how the Lord asked me to be self-employed. He never said that I'd be an entrepreneur. He never said anything like that. I think that would have just totally freaked me out. All he said to me was simple words, I want you to work for yourself. I was happy to be obedient to that. So if you like that story, there's more. <laughs> there's much more. That was seven years ago. And he has grown me step by step, day by day, month by month, and year by year. I had no idea how he would position me for the future of the business that he wanted me to create. Pretty much like how he's moving me now I have no idea where it will lead but I am clearer about the process join me next time as I share more about doing business with God I'm Tania from Draw for the Giants where I personalize business with illustration <laughs>